How's it going? <laughs> all good. good, all good. Here we are. Good. So, Daniel, I have to ask you, um, one of the things I really liked about the movie was some of the nods to horror. I liked that the ship was called the Murnau, and you did like an Iris Inn at one point. I thought that was really cool. Yes. <laughs> nice. I wanted to ask if that was fun, bringing some horror elements into the superhero genre, because we don't see that much. Yeah, it was a blast, because first, you know, I didn't know if I was allowed, you know, because, you know, horror has been, you know, regarded as, you know, kind of le a lesser culture, you know, somehow. But I love horror, you know, and I love old horror, you know. So, so, so the more I could fill it in, you can also see, like, if you look at the desk behind him, there are others more kind of like uh, old horror symbols. So, so yeah, that was a blast. I'm a nerd, so I kind of like to <laughs> fill things out. Yeah, Adria, um, I read something really cool that you used AOC a bit as a reference for your character, and I was just wondering if you could talk a little bit about that. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, I mean, when we sort of came up with that together, we were like, how do, how does sort of, how does Martine talk and stuff? And it was very much at the beginning of, of AOC's career. And it was, you know, it's a woman that comes from lower income to middle class family who has pushed herself to be where she is right now and, and really relies on her intellect and is not afraid to interrupt a man, is not afraid to be the smartest in the room. And I think Martine is very much, like that. She's not afraid to sometimes correct Dr. Morbius and be wrong or right. You know, I think she's the only person that has the courage to talk to him a little bit, you know, stronger um, and to tell him when he's right and when he's wrong. So that part of it and the way that she speaks with such conviction was really much where, where I went towards AOC. Yeah, I thought that was really cool. Um, so as a self-proclaimed nerd, um, was it fun playing in the Marvel sandbox? And uh, are you psyched to now kind of be part of the multiverse? I would, I would I'm, think. No, I'm psyched. I'm super psyched. But it, it's, uh, it was also terrifying, you know, yeah. because I've been sitting on the other side just filling myself with hate you know for and you know talking because that's what you do you know you like to kind of decipher things and find the wrongs and then suddenly you're on the other side of that uh, of that uh, microscope but i think that this uh, next couple of years within the marvel world is going to be very exciting you know and i think it's going to be very thrilling to see over how they we are going to deal with you know this uh, this new world one as you know uh, the kind of multiverse has existed in the Marvel universe for decades, you know. So, 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 as a person who loves um, uh, comic books, it was uh, something we've been waiting for. Sure, uh, you know. So, 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 and I think it's it's uh, it's gonna give uh, clever and interesting ideas in the future. Um, Aja, one of the things that I liked about your character specifically in a movie like this is that they're not always, you know, when, when you get a big superhero movie, it's easy to lose the focus on the characters because of all the action and stuff. But I thought that you did ground the movie to a certain extent because you had a really great relationship with Leto's character in the film with Morbius, you know, and I liked I liked the whole kind of, not, maybe not a romance, but like the quasi romance between the two of you. You know, I was just wondering if you could talk a little bit about that, because that was something that I thought was fresh and original. Oh, thank you, by the way. Oh, pleasure. <laughs> I'm flattered. Um, yeah, I think, you know, I think that is really all Daniel. I think Daniel, like I, I think I've said before. that It's not true. I mean, it's <laughs> also because you're like a God-given talent, you know, one of the, you know, strongest actresses. You, you know, that's also part of it, you know. I mean, I just think he, he really set the bar up really high for all of us and you know wasn't afraid to challenge us and wasn't afraid to push us you know he wanted to make the best version of this movie possible um and i i love their relationship I, as a true romantic at heart there was something that sort of broke inside of me every time i read a scene with them you know they did have this ticking time bomb and of time you know they didn't know how much they had left and and so they that would sort of push them away for each other, they were like, why would we do that? You know, why would we hurt each other more? Um, and that sort of always broke my heart. So when the whole transformation happens and the idea of that possibility opens, it's 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 daunting, I think, on both of them. And I don't think neither of them know how to handle it. Um, so I, I I love that. I love that, that sort of romantic through line. But they both pretty, they stand their own ground as individual characters on, on film this guy. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate appreciate thank you making time. Thank you, man. Thank you. Michael Morbius. Discover who you're meant to be.
the bad guy. people but the cure it's a curse Michael I have powers that can only be described as superhuman but there's a cost now I face a choice to hunt and consume blood or die we all have monsters within us. It's up to us to control it. What if I can't? Michael Morbius. You've been given a gift. Not exactly. Time to let go of what you used to be. Discover who you're meant to be. All our lives we've lived with death. Why shouldn't they know what it feels like for a change? Just accept who you are. The bad guy. More BS. Holy water? Really? Yeah. You ever see Lost Boys? Story of my life. A new Marvel legend arrives exclusively in movie theaters April 1st.